Aloha and welcome to Kaimana Conservation, the channel where we talk about the ocean and everything ocean related. Today we're going to dive into the top 20 fish species you'll see while swimming in Hawaii. Let's dive in. The first fish on our list and arguably the most important one to remember is the Humuhumu nuku nuku apua'a fish, also known as the reef trigger fish in English. The reef trigger fish is the state fish of Hawaii and can be identified with its brown back and black belly with a bright yellow triangle pattern towards its tail. It has trigger fins on its dorsal and ventral side used to wedge itself into crevices in self-defense against predators. All trigger fish also undulate their top and bottom fins, which is a very unique form of movement on the reef. The Hawaiian name, Humuhumu Nuku Nuku Apua'a, roughly translates to the trigger fish with the snout of a pig. Not only does it have a pig-like snout, but it also makes a defensive noise by rubbing its gills together that sounds very similar to a pig snort. This is a very common but skittish fish to find on our reefs, so it's very difficult to get on camera. If you take pictures or videos, oftentimes you'll catch it as it's swimming away from you. The second up on our list is the convict tang, or menini in Hawaiian, meaning small. Convict tangs have several stripes down their side, which lend to their common name. They're a schooling species similar to herds of zebra. They use the stripes on their body to disorient their predators. They also employ safety in numbers. Menini are herbivores, so you'll see them feeding in aggregations, hopping and rolling over the reef. The convict tang is a very important species out here in Hawaii, removing limu, or seaweed, from the reef to clean spaces for new coral recruits and increasing overall coral reef health. Next up, the yellow tang, or lau ipala, meaning yellow tea leaf in Hawaiian. This is also bubbles from Finding Nemo. It's a member of the surgeon fish family, so you can identify it by the sharp spine at the base of the tail, and obviously it's brilliant yellow color. This is a very common species in Hawaii, but they are disappearing due to the aquarium trade. The state tightened restrictions recently to prevent further loss of this popular and beautiful reef fish. They are also algae feeders, and they're vital for the health of the reef ecosystem. Another Finding Nemo star. Up next, we have the Moorish Idol, who is Gil from Finding Nemo. The name in Hawaiian is kihi kihi, meaning curves or zigzags, referring to the unique shape and the dorsal filament. The Moorish Idol is a very unique looking fish. It's got a white and pale yellow body with black stripes and a bright yellow saddle across its snout. Their most identifiable characteristic is the long trailing filament on its dorsal fin. They're often seen solitary, but can also form small schools or pairs while traveling across the reef. Next up is the ornate butterfly fish, or kikakapu in Hawaiian, meaning strongly forbidden. Old Hawaiian culture dictated that it was kapu, or taboo, to fish and eat a butterfly fish as it played an important role on the reef eating dying coral polyps to make room for more coral recruits. The common name butterfly fish comes from their coloration and behavior of flying over the reef and stopping at corals the way butterflies fly over the garden and stop at flowers. The ornate butterfly fish is larger than most and predominantly white with diagonal golden bars, making them a really striking fish to find in Hawaii. Next on the list is the yellow striped goatfish, also known as the square spot goatfish. The Hawaiian name is weke, meaning crack or narrow opening, referring to its scales. Goatfish have a very identifiable whisker-like appendage on the lower jaw called barbels, which resemble the beard of a goat. These barbels allow them to probe for prey underneath the sand and inside reef crevices. These barbels are covered in sensory receptors, allowing them to touch and taste their prey. Goatfish are often seen over the sand due to that strategic hunting method. Next on the list is the bluefin trevally, or omilu, meaning blue in Hawaiian. The bluefin trevally is a member of the jack family. It has iridescent blue dorsal and ventral fins and are neon in the sunlight. These are streamlined, aggressive predators on our reefs and hunt for smaller reef fish. When the omilu get excited, they have chromatophores in their skin that allow them to change their shade. They can go from a light silver to an almost jet black. Next up, the long nose butterfly fish, or the lao willy willy nuku nuku oi oi in Hawaiian, which roughly translates to the leaf of the willy willy tree with the sharp nose. The long nose on this butterfly fish is used to reach food in hard to reach places, like within coral crevices and rocks. 
Inside of their tiny mouths are tiny sharp teeth that grab and pull up coral polyps, worms, and crustaceans. Next up on our list is the raccoon butterfly fish. Their color pattern on their face looks similar to a raccoon, thus their common name. One of the only species of butterfly fish that is nocturnal and is often seen sleeping during the day. They can also be active, however, and school in large feeding aggregations. Raccoon butterfly fish are omnivores, eating algae, tube worms, nudibranchs, coral polyps, and benthic invertebrates. The next fish on our list is the trumpet fish, or the nunu. The nunu is an unusually shaped fish, long and slender like a stick, with a paddle-like tail. Trumpet fish use its shape as camouflage by swimming vertical to appear like a reed of limu, or seaweed. Trumpet fish can also change the color of its skin from a bright yellow to a dark chocolate brown, and they can also add stripes or crosshatch patterns depending on their environment. Trumpet fish are ambush predators, using a combination of camouflage and a stealthy approach to sneak up on fish and crustaceans. They open their mouth rapidly to suck in their prey with a big gulp full of water. A similar looking fish next up is the cornet fish, or the nunu peke. The cornet fish is similarly shaped to the trumpet fish, long and slender like a stick, but with a thin whip-like tail. It's silver in color, with blue speckling and lines down its dorsal side, which reflects the sunlight and appears bright neon. When excited or spooked, it can change colors to develop a dark brown crosshatch pattern across its back. Cornet fish are lunge predators that will slowly approach, nearly invisible from the front because of their shape. They'll coil their body into an S shape and lunge forward, ambushing their prey. The next fish on our list is also a unique shape, the peacock flounder, or paki'i, which means flat in Hawaiian. The flounder is flat like a pancake. It lays on the sand, lying in wait as prey swim over it. It has two eyes that are both on the dorsal side of its body, allowing for it to look around above the surface of the sand while keeping the rest of the body buried or flush at the surface. The eyes can sometimes have eyelash-like filaments that look like algae, luring in herbivorous prey in for an ambush. The peacock flounder gets its name from the round, bright blue patterns on its dorsal side that resemble peacock feathers and is the most commonly seen flounder species in Hawaii. Next up is the threadfin butterfly fish. This fish is yellow, black, and white with a beautiful chevron pattern. It gets its common name from the thin filament trailing from its dorsal fin. It has a small spot on the dorsal towards the back, appearing like a thread and an eyelet. The threadfin butterfly fish is often seen in pairs on the reef and are thought to mate for life. They're also one of the only butterfly fish that forages over the sand, making them very easy to find. Another oddly shaped fish on this list is the boxfish. In Hawaiian, its name is moa, meaning guinea fowl, which refers to its form of movement. Despite their appearance, they are fast and agile swimmers with a tight turning radius due to their shape and pectoral fins. The males are a bright blue with white spots and a gold crown and tail crest, while the females are a dark brown with small white spots all over its body. Up next, the domino damselfish, also known as the Hawaiian decilis. The Hawaiian name is alo ilo'i, meaning bright or sparkling, referring to the white spot on its side. They live in large matriarchal groups in an anemone or branching coral heads. They're a very shy fish and will often retreat to the safety of their shelter if approached too closely by a diver. Juveniles appear all black with one dot on the center of the body on either side. As it grows, the white expands and loses its definition, turning silvery, and adults have a silver white body with black edging, head, tail, and fins. Despite their timidity, however, during nesting season, these fish will aggressively protect their eggs laid on the reef. They'll chase away predators and make purring noises at them in intimidation and can be heard underwater if close enough. Next up is the gray chub or rudder fish. The Hawaiian name is Ninue, meaning paddle with a broad blade, which is what this fish looks like. There's a site at Molokini Crater called Eninue, which is named after this fish. They also live along shallow, rocky coasts and surgy areas. Chubs are a schooling fish and are often seen together in dozens, if not hundreds, above the reef. The gray chub is a solid gray, but can have a piebald or patchy color variation and even a yellow variety. Chub species also have chromatophores, allowing them to lighten and darken when excited, going from a light silver to a dark charcoal gray. Next on the list is the flying grenard, or pinau, meaning dragonfly in Hawaiian. The flying grenard is a bottom-dwelling fish that blends in with the sand similar to the flounder. It has large head and eyes and an elongated tail. When it's chasing prey or spooked by a predator, it spreads its wings, or the pectoral fins, to appear larger and glide across the sand quickly. It's like an underwater flying fish. The flying grenard hunts by using small finger-like spines on their pelvic fins to crawl across the sand and scratch for food in the sediment. 
The next fish on our list is the blue striped snapper, or ta'ape, which is a Tahitian word. This is the only fish on this list that is invasive, meaning it is not native or endemic to Hawaii, but it was introduced. It's bright yellow with four bright blue stripes along each side from nose to tail. The invasive ta'ape is a predator that eats and out-eats native fish. They're often seen in large schools over wrecks, rock outcroppings, and deep pinnacles. Because of their invasive status, it is open season on these fish all year round. Relative to the state fish of Hawaii, next up is the black durgeon or black triggerfish. The Hawaiian name is humuhumu eleele, which means black triggerfish. The black durgeon has a dark black body and white stripes at the base of its dorsal and ventral fins. It can lighten and darken its body, revealing bright blue patterns on its face and checkering on its body. It also has trigger fins just like the state fish. This fish is lovingly referred to as the pigeon of the sea. They'll often school at the surface in tourism populated areas in expectation of a meal. They'll even follow people and wait underneath of boats. Last but not least on our list is the big eye scad or akule, meaning to look up in Hawaiian. They are a silvery schooling fish and use safety in numbers methods against predators. They also have invasive methods like forming tight bait balls and undulating over the reef like a flock of birds. Akule are plankton eaters, so they prefer high current areas and drift zones. Despite safety in numbers, large schools of akule often attract attention of predators like trevally and sharks. Not only are they a popular prey item in the water, but akule are one of the most important food fishes of old Hawaii. Mahalo Nui Loa for joining me today to learn about the top 20 fish to look out for here in Hawaii. This video only covers 20 different species that you can find here, but there are hundreds of fish species to encounter. If you want to learn more fish that you can find here in Hawaii, let me know in the comments and I'll make another video. Mahalo Nui Loa everyone and ahui ho!